Hello and welcome everyone. Today in this video, we will be covering the classic problem of a train when meets with an accident. Now let us first read the question. A train develops a fault and travels for four-fifth of its usual speed thereafter and reaches the destination 55 minutes late. Had the fault occurred 40 kilometers further, the train would have been late by, at the destination by only 45 minutes. We need to find out the usual speed and the reduced speed of the train. So first of all, let us draw a suitable diagram to understand what is happening in the question. So in this figure, we can see that A is the source and B is the destination from which the train starts and the train arrives. Point C is the accident point at the first case and point D is the place where the accident takes place in the second case. Now since point C and point D are 40 km further, as per the question, we have mentioned the distance between C and D is equal to 40 km. Also, for this question, we have taken two assumptions. First, that the usual time for completion of the journey is equal to t minutes and second, that the usual speed is equal to 5x. Why 5x? Because when the reduced speed is equal to 4 fifth of that, we can easily calculate that to be, so the reduced speed would be equal to 4x. Just for the sake of better calculations, I have taken the usual speed to be 5x. Now, if the usual time of the journey is equal to t minutes, for the first case, the time taken is equal to t plus 55 minutes and for the second case, the time taken is equal to t plus 45 minutes. Now, let us not consider the first diagram and move to the second diagram because the train travels with the same speed and takes the same time to cover from A to C in both the cases. Now, in the second diagram, what we need to understand is from C to D in the second case, that is this case, the train speed is equal to 5x and after D, the train speed becomes 4x. However, in the first case, throughout the entire journey, the train's speed is equal to 4x. Also, if you look here, the train took 45 minutes more in the second case and 55 minutes more in the first case. So if I say that the train took t minutes in the second case of my second example, then the train should have taken t plus 10 minutes for the first case in my second example. I'm just calculating the difference in the time because here from C to D, the train was covering at a higher speed than the first case. Now comes the most important part. If I mention this point as D itself. You can see from D to B in both these cases the train travels at a speed of 4x so it would take equal time to reach the destination. However, there is a difference of 10 minutes in the first case and why is that so? If you look closely in the first case the train travels with a speed of 4x from C to D whereas in the second it travels with a speed of 5x. Since the speed reduces, the time taken is greater. So let us just consider now from C to D. Now from C to D, the speeds of the train were 4x and 5x respectively. Since the distance is constant, that is 40 kilometers, the time would be in the opposite ratio. That means the time would be in the ratio of 5x and 4x or 5 is to 4 which is the opposite ratio of 4 is to 5. This difference of x so if I calculate 5x minus 4x I will be getting x and this difference corresponds to my difference of 10 minutes that I am seeing for this example. So the value of x is equal to 10 minutes. If x is equal to 10 minutes, 4x would be equal to 40 minutes and 5x would be equal to 50 minutes. Now the things become really easy for us. 
in 40 minutes in the second case the train is traveling for 40 kilometers so in 40 minutes the train travels for 40 kilometers so in 60 minutes the train would travel for 40 divided by 40 into 60 kilometers which is equal to 60 kilometers in 60 minutes it covers 60 kilometers that means the usual speed of the train would be equal to 60 kilometer per hour and the reduced speed would be equal to four fifth of the speed that comes out to be 48 kilometer per hour i now hope that these kind of problems will not create any kind of difficulties in your preparation or in the exam paper.